Hi everyone, this is Amy from paperandspool.com and I'm here to show you my December daily from last year, 2016. I bought the main kit from Ali Edwards as well as the mini kit from Paisley Press, Liz Tamanaha, and I really loved integrating some of my own supplies as well. I bought the white gold polka dot album and I put the little Santa chipboard on the edge. I really like how that turned out. And let me just walk you through. So I experimented quite a bit last year with the silk screens. It's kind of hard to see on this first one, but I have a transparency. This is from Michaels. They often have them up with the um, individual pieces of pattern paper. And then I used well-read paint from Studio Calico with these silk screens. And this was one by Jasmine Jones for Studio Calico. I think it was available in 2015. So it's just a silk screen I had in my stash that I wanted to use. Then I've got my our family photo here in the 2016 with a flip up, including my reason why. I liked this, but the flip up turned out to be a little unwieldy. It's a little big, so I think I might try something a little different for my uh, reason why page this year. And then a calendar that I had every intention of kind of coming back and adding things to and never really ended up doing. I, it doesn't bother me though. It's just nice to have kind of a, an idea to remember, oh yeah, Christmas was on a Sunday that year, those kinds of things. And this calendar was by um, Marie at stitchintime.typepad.com. Uh, she does a calendar every year, which is really fun to include. So my day one, this is a little transparency from the Paisley Press Kit. A little flip up there and cards from the Paisley Press Kit. And this card is from a Studio Calico Kit. And this is one of the old, I think maybe 2014, these numbers were included in the December Daily Kit. So that's kind of an old one there. And then one of my favorite Jasmine Jones designs, um, I think this is the Jasmine Jones Mini Kit from the first year that they offered a bunch of mini kits. I believe that that was 2015. I could be wrong though, you never know. And then a little heart. I just stitched this in the middle because I thought that was kind of cute. I didn't want to like put it to one side or the other, so I just stitched it right there. I got a beautiful free poinsettia with my groceries last year. So bizarre, right? Like it just seems like an odd thing to get with your groceries. So this is a, two, a three by eight page protector. You can get these in Ali's shop. And this is a Heidi Swap number uh, available at Michael's. It's embossed. It has a little ridge and some polka dots around the edge. It's really nice got some great texture. I just hot glue gunned this down the edge. Really, really easy and it looks really cute. And this was from the December Daily Log Book. I think not the most recent one or two, I think a few back. So that was kind of a fun one. I really like having these layered pieces where you can see through to other days. And this one is from Peppermint Granberg at One Little Bird and you can get her designs at thelilypad.com and this is just something that you download and you can cut on your silhouette. I like to slip it into a 6x8 page protector because it makes it sturdy and you can't reach through it. It just gives it a little bit of weight in the album. It almost makes it look like a transparency actually is what it does. So that's kind of cool. Then in here I had um, a little pocket that you can a little envelope. I had a tutorial for this on my blog last year and this has another photo in it and a little bit of journaling. So there's some hidden journaling there which is kind of fun. Um, it's not that it was anything that I didn't want anybody to read but I was just experimenting with some different textures and trying to include my stories in different ways and I thought the little pocket was a really fun way to do that and I loved this paper. That was so cool. And this is Max and his advent calendar. So you can see here some cards from the main kit last year. So the 2016 main kit from Ali. This is a Studio Calico number with some of the sequins from the Paisley Press Mini. Max was the, the donkey in the Christmas pageant last year. It was so cute. He took his role so seriously. It was kind of adorable. One of my favorite parts of the Paisley Press mini kit from last year was these little rubber pieces, this Joy being one of my all-time favorite ones. And so this is just a really neutral, almost fully black and white page except for the color photo here. And I really like how simple that is. And then a little flip up there that you can see another photo from the day. 
decorating our tree. One thing that you can do when you have really um, poor lighting, like if you're decorating your tree at night like we did last year, I just flipped it to black and white. It's a really easy way to still have a good, nice quality photo when I think it was like almost this color when I looked at it on my computer, the walls and the lighting was quite poor. Another big Jasmine Jones piece from a, an earlier kit, I believe, the 2015 mini kit. I really loved that one. I didn't buy her mini kit last year. It just didn't quite feel like my style. And that's okay. Uh, some snow. We were so cold here last year. It was for a full week, I think, like minus 20, 25. Another little vellum pocket you can see in there that I made. And I filled the vellum pocket with stars. And then I put this mousse on the front and it has a really cool see-through glow kind of effect as you're turning the page. And then on the side, the number. Uh, this was just a tag that I used for Max's Sinterklaas present. I really like to keep including the little things from our holiday in the book like that. I, I'm always on the prowl for cute ones so that when I put them on presents and then put them into the album later, I like how they look. And maybe that's a little bit backwards. Maybe not everybody buys their tags thinking about how they're going to look in the album, but I do. So there you go. And these cute little uh, light bulbs were part of the Felicity Jane uh, kit last year. And I didn't buy the whole Felicity Jane kit. I just bought those rubber pieces because I loved the rubber pieces. They were so cute. Another silk screen on a transparency, this big pine comb. That's from a Studio Calico add-on kit quite, um, quite a long time ago. Again, it was sitting in my stash for a couple of years, but I really loved the effect of the red on the transparencies, and I'll be doing this again this year. So if you're wanting to see how it could look a little bit different, I'll be trying out some new things with those silk screens and the transparencies this year too. I always love the look of these full six by eight. Oh, this has like a really sticky fingerprint on it. These full six by eight photos. And this one, I just added the text in Photoshop before I printed it and then put a simple chipboard banner on the bottom. And it doesn't have to be hard, right? Like this is a really easy thing to do. All I did here, the work I did for this page on the day would have been writing that, printing this, and using my Instax Mini to print the little photo of Chris and Max skating there. So the rest of it was already in the album ready to go. That's what I love about December Daily and getting your foundation pages ready and thinking it through. I made the kids this massive Christmas fort last year and it was a huge hit. So I've got a huge spread here dedicated to the fort for day eight. So there they are. They cut, we cut out these stars and the kids all colored them and we stapled them to these brightly colored ribbons and everything had to happen in the fort. I think Max even slept in the fort one night with Chris. I was a little unwilling to sleep on the floor in the fort but the boys they did that. That was kind of fun for them. And then I, these wonky hearts. Oh man, if I could have a million of those, I'd be happy. Uh, this was a stacking stamp uh, put out by Studio Calico last year, I think designed by Peppermint and Granberg. And I like how with these kinds of stacking stamps, if you do a different color, you end up with a really cool texture there. And this was some free word art from Allie last year and the fort easily became a mess with five minutes of playing so that was very appropriate for me on the day. This I think was actually a photo of our tree in the tree lot and I saved it like we purchased our tree a couple days previous and I saved it for day nine. I really like to do that and this photo I took in advance too. This photo I took when I decorated and just saved it and knew that there would be a day where maybe I was working or wasn't able to take a photo in good light and I would want to have some things kind of in my pocket, so to speak. So you'll see me do that again this year. I do work uh, fairly long hours teaching piano and I'm not always available in the good times of the day to take a photo, so I'll have that done earlier. Day 10 was Max's Santa picture and he really connected well with Santa last year. And our Santa was so great because Max brought along his Wolfie, which he received as a Santa present a few years past. And he showed Wolfie to Santa. And I uh, quickly slipped in there that Santa must recognize Wolfie because of when he dropped him off at our house. And our Santa played along so brilliantly. 
and uh, gave some really nice words to Max about how he knew Max would be a good owner for Wolfie. And it was so sweet. So I journaled that, but I didn't want Max to kind of come in and read it when he wasn't ready to read that. So I put it behind a transparency. So you can see that there's words there, but you really have to work hard to read it. So I don't know when that conversation will happen. He's only four now, so hopefully not right away, but it's there so that I can remember it. And that was the point. The guys at the mall with the big tree. And this was from some packaging I had, I think. Singing Ring Around the Rosie in Anthropology. Oh, please tell me that this has happened to you. You're, ch you're holding, I had I think three or four really breakable mugs in my hand and no way to stop him and he starts swinging the shopping bag that he was holding singing Ring Around the Rosie. Thankfully I had a really understanding person in front of me in line that helped me kind of keep him calm and listen to his stories which was so great. This was I think the most popular page out of my December Daily last year as I was sharing it online and this has the Grinch with half a page of transparency. It's got some, kind of some words there and then the journaling on the back of the Grinch and these little Grinch cupcakes that I made and they were like green cupcakes with pink frosting and cool sprinkles on them. So that was kind of a really fun page to do and then this was a page uh, my friend Dawn on Instagram uh, Don Nicole, she had made this cut file and, oh, you can find her, I think, Don Nicole private, uh, PL for Project Life on Instagram. And she made this cut file and shared it with me and I just cut out all of our holiday movies and put it in there. And this is a stamp from, I think, I think that's a Brandy and Elise stamp from Feed Your Craft with the popcorn bowl. And I just colored it in with my Spectrum markers and it looks fantastic. And then Max was so into singing Santa Claus is Coming to Town last year. We heard that over and over and over again. I'm curious to see what this year's song will be. And I'll probably do something similar to kind of keep track of what his favorite song is each year. And then we had the super moon. And I managed to take, I took this photo myself and it was brilliant. I was so excited about that. So I added that in on a 3 by 8 again. And then our Christmas Santa mugs. I decided last year to start a Santa mug collection. So I had, I bought a few and I had a few given to me. So that's fun. This was a transparency, I think from the 2015 main kit that I forgot to use in 2015. So I pulled back out again in 2016. Holiday cheer, these w rubber pieces really were so excellent in the Paisley Press mini kit last year. I haven't really been a huge um, messy circles person. I know that a lot of people really love them, but I liked this jingle all the way and thought that that was a fun way. And then I put the journaling underneath so you can flip that transparency up and see the journaling underneath, which was cool. And then I take a photo of Max's Santa letter because you can't keep the real thing, guys. You, you got to put it in the box. I also kept track, this was kind of a fun project last year of how many of my students were playing Christmas songs and which Christmas songs and 41 Jingle Bells. Um, I don't think I have to tell you that I'm not a big fan of Jingle Bells. It's not my favorite song. And then me, um, teaching piano is a huge part of my everyday life and I wanted to include that. And in December, of course, it turns into a very Christmassy thing as all the kids want to learn Christmas songs and I think that's a great thing to do. So I've got some Christmas songs there. My Wreath of Wreaths. Um, I might approach this idea differently. I've done this now three years in a row and I have a lot of wreaths. I'm not really planning on buying new ones so I might have to tweak this idea a little bit and see if I do something kind of different. Again using a page from the logbook for the 3 by 8 I tried to do that a few times so that I could kind of keep a theme going and then the pom-pom trim. And just I piled up all of our blankets and pillows, our Christmas themed ones. Max being a ham in front of the tree. I liked this way of using the 2x2 two two pockets. I struggle when it's the full three rows of 2x2 two two pockets. I don't know about you. I find that I don't ever really have enough to fill that or the little pieces kind of start to fall out and I get frustrated with it. But this was a good solution to that problem. And then Joy. This was a uh, cut file I designed and you can get for free on paperandspool.com. You can just go to, I can't remember what it's called, like free downloads or something like that and get that as a ping and I think a Studio 3 file if you want to do something similar to that. Then Counting My Blessings, 
I liked this card. I actually used the digital version here so that I could type the words in in Photoshop. And then I got a typewriter for Christmas. So this year I'll be using my typewriter a little bit more, I think. Oh yeah, our holiday drinks. Chris loves to have a peppermint mocha and I love the chestnut praline latte. So I did the his and hers. And that looked really cool. I liked that. I'm running out of these tags, guys. These were from, I think, the 2015 main kit from Ali. And I just loved them. I loved punching them right into the rings. I loved having them go the other way in a pocket. So I'm going to have to look and see what numbers I have left for this year. I think it's getting pretty low. And then we had sent Max to my parents for a couple of nights. So we had some date nights last uh, December, which was really fun. And I think we're going to keep that in mind just as a bit of a like protecting our relationship and giving some priority to our relationship so we have some time to go out and enjoy the Christmas season, just the two of us as well. Oh, and this was something that everybody was doing last year that I really enjoyed. It was documenting the wrapping paper that we were all using. And there was so much plaid last year. So I had some plaid wrapping paper and then some craft and black wrapping paper. So I just cut pieces of it and put them in the pockets, which again, you can see I cut the third row off and that creates still a really nice look. And then I took this, oh, people were asking me how I took this photo. And all I do is I just laid them out on white foam core board in front of my big north facing window and then brightened it up on my phone app. I took this with my phone and it blows up to a really good size. Like you don't have to worry if you're taking photos with your phone, you can get them to, to six by eight, no problem. But then I put it onto my computer and added the text. And this was, I think, one of, Ali had like free word art through December too. And that was one of those free word art pieces. Oh, earlier in the book you saw the same wall with like an antler thing hanging here. And it was terrifying. One night in December it fell down on our heads. This is our master bedroom and it fell down on us. And my husband said, never again, Amy, you can't have antlers hanging above the bed. So I had to change it to a wreath, which is fine. But it was just kind of a funny thing. And I love getting out like my Christmas bedding for the holidays too. That just makes the holidays feel kind of special. And then our Christmas card from last year. I love these ombre dots. This I think is from the 2014 main kit. It was a really great transparency page. This is something I'd like to do again, documenting uh, Max's favorite ornament. Uh, last year we bought Chris, Max and I have started a tradition of buying Chris um, Santa ornaments. Each year he'll get a Santa ornament from the two of us. And I didn't want to photograph them and put them in the book because Chris was looking at it the whole time. Here's something hilarious. I know you all understand me when I say we all always have the best of intentions when we're making these books. And I buy Christmas pajamas every year that we open on Christmas Eve. And I was going to come back and add a photograph of each of us with our Christmas pajamas on. And it never happened. Thankfully, I think we all still have our Christmas pajamas. And we can maybe come back and do some um, add-ins. We'll have to see how that goes. The dog made it in because he didn't get Christmas pajamas. But I did add our favorite Christmas carols, which is, I think, an idea I saw on um, Liz's Instagram, maybe, which was a cool idea. And then a gift, again, using that page from the logbook, which I tried to do more frequently. Uh, we bought a train for Under the Tree, and Max just loved it. So a photo of our tree, and then a little bit of a close-up on the train underneath. This, these numbers were from Michael's. They came in a pack of like all green and red numbers with little metal rims. They're really, really cute. Max and I uh, went to the water park on the 23rd, which is a tradition that Chris and I have often done in the past. If we were done our Christmas shopping, we would just veg at the water park, which is, I kid you not, well, we live in Edmonton, which has a very, very large indoor water park at the mall. West Edmonton Mall, if you've ever heard of it. It's a, the largest mall in Canada, I think. It's owned by the same people as the Mall of America, maybe. That could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But um, it's so funny to go there the week before Christmas because it's all just dads and kids. Dads and kids, dads and kids. All the moms are out Christmas shopping and they've dumped the dads and the kids in the water park, which is so funny. We try to go when school is still in, so it's not crazy. Um, and it's a really nice, just relax and feel like you're at the beach kind of time. This was an idea that Allie had done on her page, and I did it too, because I saw it and I was so excited about it. Uh, and now in retrospect, looking back at it, it doesn't really feel like, this is the problem I have when you kind of scrap lift or 
that's what we tend to call it in scrapbooking, uh, when you scrap lift somebody, is it just doesn't really feel like authentically me. A lot of the rest of this album feels really me, and this just doesn't. It's not really my style or the way I usually do stuff. I mean, it's cute, and it used a lot of product, and I like having the ribbons in there and that kind of stuff, but yeah. I'll be careful about scrap lifting this year. I don't think I'm going to do it as much. This was a page protector that I cut down and then punched so that I could have a smaller, smaller little photos in here because sometimes just having always the big photo gets a little bit tiring. So I thought, I think these are like two by three maybe. And so they're kind of a fun little size and just for something different and to give a little bit of texture to it, I thought that would be fun. And it certainly was. There's another piece from the Felicity Jane, and I saw somebody, I think maybe Lindsay Letters had a big print like this in her shop, and I just picked a good font and did something similar, because White Christmas, one of my favorite movies of all time, every Christmas I watch that one. And then uh, Christmas Eve Church, Max and his little cousin were just having the time of their lives with the, they were just little fake candles, little battery operated candles. Um, I think they have a few too many firemen in that church who know the hazards of everybody having a lit candle. So they've gone to the battery operated candles and the kids were having the best of times. That was so fun. I decided to keep day 25 really simple and this photo actually wasn't even taken on day 25. We weren't even home on day 25. But instead of trying to take 10 or 11 photos of all the different things that we were doing, I took this photo, which I really loved. It was a great photo. And then I wrote about all the things that we were doing. So I had like nine or 10 different things here and just writing them instead. And I think that's something I'm gonna revisit again this year because I don't need a photo every year of the same thing. I, I wanna remember the same things, but, and I wanna remember what we did, but this even just wake up early, so excited for the day, open Santa presents with grandma and opa. Eat our favorites, Stolen and Kringler. Those are just some dish, some great baking that my mother-in-law makes every year. Pack up all our things, drive out to Rimby, try and fail to nap. <laughs> Open more presents, Christmas dinner, learn a new game and have fun together. And already even just that brings back the day for me, which is really um, a cool way, a different way, because it can get repetitive if you do it always the same way. So that was a neat thing. And then I did have a, a dinner photo of all of us eating dinner together and the cute little lemon meringue tarts my mom made. And then finally here, my favorite song that I was kind of listening to and singing, I just put the lyrics on, did a little bit of stitching and hung those little light bulb pieces. I don't know if I ever even shared this one on my Instagram or my blog or anything like that. Uh, I kind of kept it for myself, but it was a neat, just, I like, I loved that song last year. That's the one, my, one of my go-tos. So it's nice to remember that. So there you have it, that's my 2016 December Daily Album using the main kit, the Paisley Press Mini, and my stash. So lots of old stash in there. Thanks so much for watching and I'm sure I'll be back in a couple of months with foundation pages for 2017.